Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunger! Last time, we captured the vast fissure and killed everyone. Oh, I thought you wielded a rapier. Well, I guess it's a kind of sword, but... Well, anyway. Now I want to play Final Fantasy 1 again. Thanks a lot, game. Well, evidently you don't respect him enough. Oh, well, okay. Good for you. I wonder if there would be some dialogue during battle if I had Natalia attack uh, Robertus. Spoiler alert, we're going to be fighting him soon. So, let's uh, change our setup. we got a lot of stuff we need to worry about here. Okay, so, stick with the Brigandine. I want to get rid of the headgear there. And, yeah, we're going to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so, let's see. I want to use the Wrecker Gloves because we're going to have those uh, cannons to deal with. We've got two of them. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight at first, anyway. I do want this to protect against burn, because I'm not going to be able to kill both of them uh, in one shot. So, just do the best we can. And I also want to equip the talismans, finally. Going to put them to use. At this point in the game, we're going to start running into a lot of enemies that can inflict curse. Which, if you didn't watch the last episode, it prevents you from being healed. So, once you take damage, there's nothing you can do about it. Unless you get rid of the curse status, but it's just easier to prevent it in the first place. And a lot of enemies use it, so I highly recommend getting equipment that can help you with that. Okay, Paulo! Lava Rod? Hmm. I was originally going to remove the Book of Kiri, but I want to work on the mastery for that instead of the Lava Rod there. So, you know, I'm going to change my mind here. I'm going to put the Book of Kiri up front there. And let's see, get rid of all these. We're not going to be casting stuff for a little while anyway. Okay, let's go with, where is it? The Aqua Robe, help protect against burn. That is the one, right? Okay, good. So we got that. Let's see, then I want a, pump, a pumpkin hat that I bought way earlier because it also protects against curse and it's got pretty good stats to it too. And let's see, the Wrecker Gloves. Good. And I think that'll be all right. I don't want to put too much equipment on early on, just because I want room for the Wrecker Gloves and so I can get my turns quickly. I keep on canceling out of there. Okay, Joseph, we're gonna be... We're gonna need a lot of stuff here. So let's see, let's keep the Brigandine there. Nope, let's move that down there. And keep the sunrise there. Now, you see how my battle axe is my default weapon there? Or my active weapon there? What I want to do is remove it, so that way my sunrise becomes the active weapon. And then I'll have the battle axe here. Even though it's higher up on the list here, sunrise is still considered my active weapon. The reason why I want to do that is because the Sunrise has a really, really good guard rate in the lower left there. So, I think that'll work, won't it? Uh, yes, it will. Okay, good, good. But if I use the Battle Axe during battle, that will become my active weapon, and that does not have nearly as much of a guard rate. I would not worry about how active weapons work. Just use whatever you need to use and you'll be fine. And, let's see, I also want to equip you with a Talisman. For curse protection. Okay, let's see. Marden. Let's see. Pretty much same stuff as before. We'll be fine there. Alyssa. Okay, I'm going to keep you on the Benny Shigure. But I do want... Or, wait a minute. Yeah, I do want to equip the Holy Brim. Hmm. I wonder if I want to mo remove the Benny Shigure. How much does that give me? Not a whole lot of defense. You know what? Let's get rid of that. Keep your uh, capacity low there. 
that'll be fine. And Valerie. Okay, let's see. I want to actually use the Griffin Talon in this battle instead because a lot of the enemies in the next battle have a lot of HP, which is going to make Poison a very useful status in the event that I cannot get Burn inflicted. And let's see, same armor, same headgear. But I do want to change these two up. Let's see, I want to go with... Uh, where is it? Oh, the uh, other pair of fire boots for burn protection. And what's the other one that I wanted? A talisman? Yeah, okay. So now, I think I've got curse protection on everyone, except Martin, who I'm, I think I'm just going to sub him out eventually once I kill the uh, cannons there. So that'll work out for us. And I forgot to make a backup save, but that's okay. We'll just uh, get down here eventually. Awesome. Well, let's see what lies beyond at Fort Golgotha. See what changes they've made to the place. Probably refortified the area a bit. Oh, okay. I guess those two are working together, huh? Working the same side of the street. I suppose that kind of makes sense. They seem to uh, share similar ambitions. What do you mean? What's going on? Huh. Hmm. Maybe they aren't quite working together. Well, let's see what's going on. Gods, leave us. Hmm. Who are you talking to? What the? I thought he was killed. Huh, I, I guess he, uh, didn't. I don't know if they ever really explain how he survived. My guess is that either Ziad had him healed because he's, like, in charge of the magic faction and all that, or, uh, what, what's her name? Isabelle, uh, resurrected him with her necromancy potence whatever thing. But I don't think that that's the case. I think they just healed him up. Like a Final Fantasy VIII sort of thing, or whatever. Yeah, he didn't seem to like her too much, but... Well, better her than Ziad. What do you mean? Well, why not? You gotta have the manpower. Uh, we're kind of kicking your ass, dude. You beat us, like, what? Once? I suppose once is enough, but still. So? Hmm? What are, what are you talking about, Ziad? You're not going to tell us, are you? What do you mean? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, yeah. I don't think R Ragnus has citizenship. Well, apparently so. Dignity and an empty sack are worth the sack. Rule of acquisition 109, if I recall correctly. Apparently not. Well, we seem to be doing pretty good. Well, he seems to have pretty good character to me. Better than you. So you're just gonna keep mocked up there forever or something? What does that mean? What does it even mean? I don't know.
Well, let's see if we can get the job done this time around. Well, we're much higher level this time. Probably on par with, uh, Robertus. Yeah, kind of, uh, backfiring on you guys, huh? Maybe you should, like, stop brutally murdering people and then wondering why we're not just rolling over for you. Not to mention we have the magic spear, too. I mean, it's just a placeholder, though, that's all. It's a, a symbol of our, uh, rebellion. Uh-oh! They got Wallace there, too. Nuts. You gotta take on both of them at once? It's gonna be pretty tough. Well, hopefully we can uh, get the job done. With kick-ass music? Yeah! Kick-ass! Well... Yeah, I'm gonna come here eventually. Thank you for not firing your cannons before we got inside. Well, I was here the last time. Didn't finish me off. I'm impressed, but we're still gonna kick your ass. Apparently not that good enough. Uh-oh. Well, apparently not. Hmm. That's what that's one of the reasons why I think it's more likely that Ziad simply healed uh Ragnus or resurrected him or whatever, instead of like making him into a zombie or something. Because that would be the only way Robertus wouldn't know. And I don't think Robertus would lie about that just to piss me off. Well, the second one didn't do so good, but... Well, we'll see if third time's a charm for us. Well, I'm a little young for making a new generation, but... Well, we gotta get some practice first. Man, all the big guys got lances and spears and throwing them all around here. But can we defeat Robertus and take down Fort Golgotha once and for all? Find out next time on Let's Play Gunyer. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.